Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of R3 Stem Cell. Today's topic is stem cell therapy for avascular necrosis. Well, what is avascular necrosis? It's the death of bone tissue due to a lack of blood supply. It's known for short as AVN. Bone needs blood supply to receive its oxygen and nutrients, and if you, know, you kind of kill that off to a, a joint, uh, then the bone's going to die. It's also called osteonecrosis. Uh, it can lead to tiny breaks in the bone, and the bone is eventual collapse. Blood flow to a section of bone can be interrupted if the bone is fractured or the joint becomes dislocated. Uh, here are the four stages. They're called the FECOT stages. Stage one is, you know, not too obvious on an x-ray. Uh, stage two, you start to lose some of the integrity uh, in the joint. Stage three, you lose more, but it hasn't quite collapsed yet. And stage four is when it actually starts to collapse and involves both sides of the joint. So one of the best known cases of avascular necrosis is Bo Jackson. This is at the actual play where his um, leg, during the tackle, his leg got pulled and he ended up uh, dislocating his hip and suffering from avascular necrosis. If you recall, he went on to have a hip replacement and then played in the, um, in the MLB with the Kansas City Royals and actually made the all-star team. Um, but, you know, it did cut short his football career. So available treatments include limited weight bearing and pain meds. Those can help. Treatment with bisphosphonate medications, that can decrease pain uh, and can delay the need for a total hip arthroplasty. Extracorporeal shockwave therapy, known as ESWT, has shown beneficial effects in early AVN. Uh, treatment options available to date primarily focused on reducing the pressure in the bone by drilling channels in the head. And that's called a core decompression. Uh, and that can help if it's an early stage. Electrical stimulation can help. And then you start to go to surgery, which, like I mentioned, is core decompression, uh, maybe some bone grafting procedure, or an osteotomy. What we have now are regenerative medical treatments that help not only to decrease pain and increase person's function, but in addition to help repair and regenerate the avascular issue. So I'm going to run through some studies. Here's one, efficacy of umbilical cord-derived mesenchymal stem cell-based therapy for osteonecrosis of the femoral head. This had nine patients. They injected mesenchymal stem cells um, with an intra-arterial infusion. And the MRI, MRI results revealed that at one and two years, the necrotic volume of the femoral head was significantly reduced. Um, and they suggested, this suggested that intra-arterial infusion is a feasible and relatively safe method for the treatment of femoral head necrosis. Here's a study out of Brazil from last year looking at clinical outcomes of osteonecrosis after autologous bone marrow stem cell implantation. So they actually took seven studies, put the results together, and looked at them. Um, they noted that bone marrow stem cells show multi-potential capacities to differentiate into osteoblast, endothelial cell progenitors, and hemangioblasts. So that can help repair bone and actually uh, create more blood, blood flow with blood vessels. And this functions to repair the necrotic region of the femoral head. Uh, they showed that patients treated with the bone marrow stem cells implantation treatment showed improved clinical outcomes with delayed progression of the osteonecrosis. So here's a study out of the Journal of Health Sciences. Uh, 15 patients who were in varying stages of avascular necrosis. They were treated with bone marrow that had adipose um, as well, along with PRP. So all three. At one year, knee pain, hip pain reduced, and mobility and flexibility of the joint was increased uh, than prior. The x-rays taken after three months follow-up of the patient showed the signs of new cartilage formation, which indicates the process of chondrogenesis. Now you might say, how does an x-ray show cartilage formation? Well, the way it does, it's an indirect. So if you see more joint space, then the indication is that there's been more cartilage formed. At any rate, you can see the subjects here, all 15 of them, male, female, the age ranges, their body mass index, and then what stage of avascular necrosis they were in. So early, early, later, early, later, so all over the board, and they showed good results with this treatment. So here's a study out of Belgium, um, looking at stage-related results in treatment of hip osteonecrosis with core decompression, along with autologous mesenchymal stem cells. So out of 29 patients, 25 of them did well. They showed a relief of the symptoms and a resolution of the osteonecrosis. 11 of these were stage one and 14 were stage two. 
So if you add those together, that's 25 were stage one or stage two. The ones who were stage three and four did not do well with the core decompression of the mesenchymal stem cells. Now, here's a study showing complete resolution of avascular necrosis of the human femoral head treated with adipose-derived stem cells and PRP. This is one patient, 43-year-old man with early stage avascular necrosis. They used the SVF version of adipose along with PRP and some hyaluronic acid. And then they used ultrasound to inject uh, weekly at four, oh, actually they injected that initially and then PRP weekly for four weeks. Um, and the great results, pain scores, range of motion increased, MRI um, did well. So they had complete resolution. This was just one patient, but you know, it's a great outcome. This is a study out of bone, looking at the effectiveness of targeted intra-arterial delivery, delivery of concentrated bone marrow containing mononuclear cells in the treatment of osteonecrosis. So 62 patients with osteonecrosis of the femoral head were recruited. They used concentrated bone marrow stem cells um, from uh, the hip and then perfused them into the femoral head. Um, now, they noted that the clinical outcome is better when it's applied prior to the collapse, meaning an earlier stage. Now, does this look familiar from one of the earlier slides? Um, so, they made sure that it went through the medial circumflex femoral artery, which is the primary blood supply to the femoral head. So they noted that it was safe and effective and minimally invasive treatment strategy for early stage osteonecrosis. Um, here's another study looking at clinical results of iliac cancellous bone grafting combined with implantation of bone marrow cells for osteonecrosis of the femoral head over a five-year period. So they looked at 61 hips in 52 patients treated with the bone graft and the cell therapy, and the average follow-up was a long time, at least five years. Uh, clinically, they got success in 4 out of 5 hips of stage 1, 23 of 35, stage 2, 7 of 18 of stage 3, and 1 out of 3 of stage 4. So what I took away from this is that if you include the bone grafting along with the stem cell procedure, you can get some good results not only with stage 1, 2, but also stage 3. Stage 4 is still a big question mark um, in my book. So in conclusion, avascular necrosis is a difficult condition. It comes in four stages, the last of which involves uh, significant collapse. Okay, now we didn't talk about all this, but there's various reasons people get AVN. It's not just a hip dislocation. It can be continuous steroid use for whatever reason, um, alcohol use, you know, or other things. Several studies show that for early stages, before there's a collapse, that intra-arterial infusion of mesenchymal stem cells works extremely well, along with an implantation um, option as well. For stage three, mesenchymal stem cells with, with a core decompression can work well, um, and also maybe a cancellous bone grafting. For stage four, it's just a big crapshoot. It's very difficult to treat. It probably needs a cancellous bone grafting along with um, some stem cell treatment, but you know, stage four is really a crapshoot. You may end up needing a total hip replacement. At R3, we truly want to make a difference in patients' lives. We want to help them avoid surgery, remain as active as desired. Our affiliated centers of excellence are located nationwide and offer first-rate regenerative treatment options. Visit us today online at r3stemcell.com or simply call us at 844-GET-STEM. Thank you very much for watching.